so I'm going to be doing my May, fav May favorites. Tomorrow's June! I can't believe it! Um, so let's just get into it. Um, my first favorite would be my MAC palettes that I've been using pretty much all May. Um, I've been using all of my MAC shadows, so those are my colorful shadows. And I just did a video um, with my favorite MAC shadows, so um, look out for that if it's not already posted. That's my neutrals, and then I have my highlights along with my golds and silvers and blacks. Oops, there you go. So um, I've been using my MAC shadows. That's all I've been using pretty much all May. Um, that's all I've had in my um, little, um, what's it called, train case that I bring to my apartment. So um, yeah, that's pretty much all I've been using for shadow wise. So that's that. Um, the next thing that I have here is the Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circle Treatment Concealer. That was a mouthful. And I am in the color... light um, or pale because I like um, the under eyes to kind of be brighter so I look awake when I go to work or wherever I go so um, I've actually been loving this um, I don't have dark circles but I love this just as like a brightener just to brighten my face up just so I look a little bit more alive everything like that so um, I've really been loving this this is really great and it's also good because I apply it after I apply my um, my eye makeup so to clean up down here and make a nice straight line over here if I did get messy um, it's perfect for that so the Maybelline instant age rewind concealer for underneath for dark circles really great um, I heard about this from Tiffany D so love that um, the next thing I saw this in uh, quite a few uh, recent uh, videos and it's the Coralista blush and surprisingly same for me. This is one of my favorites this month. Um, everybody seems to be rediscovering it, and that's exactly what I did. Um, sorry, I'm watching the uh, <laughs> the basketball game, um, the Spurs and the, um, what's it called? Okay, see. Anyways, um, this is Coralisa, and it is a pretty coral, corally, uh, peachy color. And I've been loving this blush this month, so... I've been using it quite a lot, so that's that. It's a pretty light color, so um, even on my tan skin, um, it's ugh, sorry. Even on my tan skin, it shows up nicely. It gives a really subtle, um, nice flush to my uh, cheeks, so I do like that. Um, another blush I've been using um, is the Mineralized Blush from Mac, and it is called Gentle. And it's the one with the veining and everything. That's what it looks like. It almost looks purpley pink and has a really pretty sheen. So it's good to place right here and you already have that kind of highlighting glow. <coughs> Again, not super pigmented, but it's a really nice um, pop of color on your cheeks. It's the one up here, Coralisa down here. So I've been loving that. Rediscovered that as well. And one more cheek item I've rediscovered is the cream blusher from Illamasqua and I, for, I always forget what this is called because I don't know why there's a blank after color. I always forget what it's called but um, it is the cream blush and it is the really nice pinky peach and I've been using this under um, the Coralista bl blush and I love it. Um, it looks really nice together. So that's what it looks like swatch, that bottom one right here. And then if you blend it out, I'll show you. So really, these Ilmasca cream blushers are so pigmented. So that's what it looks like blended out. Um, it's a really, really nice color. I should show you what it looks like with Coralista over it. So that's it with um, by itself. So that's with Coralista over it. So it just gives something nice to stick to as well. As well, it, it gives you a very nice sheen. So I've been loving um, these two together, this by itself, and sometimes I use this by itself rarely though. I like to use cream blushes as um, a base, just as other cream products for your eyes. Um, the next thing I've been loving is this new, um, not new as in it just came out, but new for me. It is the L'Oreal Voluminous, um, I believe this is L'Oreal, I hope it is. Anyways, the Volumina, 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 Voluminous False Lashes Full Seals Waterproof Mascara. And you can see it there. 
and it comes in that gold tube it's a pretty long tube and this is what the wand looks like and this is the one that has the um, fibers and I was looking for a new and you can see the fibers on you can see the fibers on the um, container but anyways I was looking for a new mascara because I ran out of my Lancome um, Hypnos Drama Waterproof <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry I'm sick. I love that mascara. It is thebomb.com. And I was going to pick up another, but I decided I have to save money somewhere. That mascara is perfect. Super hard to take off because it's waterproof. Because I got the waterproof one. But just the best mascara I've ever tried. I decided to try this just for the heck of it. Just to use another um, mascara because I need mascara. And it's not bad. I've actually been liking it a lot. I have it on today. I don't know if you can see. But um, it's been good to me. So that um, was a big surprise. So I'm very happy with that. Um, next I have my... Where is it? Here you go. The Inglot um, Eyeliner Gel in Matte 77. And it is just that black, deep, deep, deep black color. This was given to me by my auntie. Um, my auntie got it from her best friend, my other auntie, um, that went to Vegas and picked this up for her. And my auntie gave it to me because she's into uh, colored eyeliner. She likes blues and greens and purples and all that. So um, she gave me this, the black one, because she hardly uses black. <clears throat> she knows I use black. So thank you, auntie. Um, I love it. I absolutely love it. It. I have it on today as my top liner and it's so black like it is I hate to swatch it on me because it's just super black and probably hard to take off um so I'm not gonna swatch it on me but uh nah, I guess I will anyways um that's how black it is like it is so black and so like pigmented you need the smallest look at that it is ridiculous. It's just super black. Like, oh my goodness. It's the perfect, if you love black eyeliner, you love gel eyeliner, you like something that will stay in place and not budge, this is great. So I can't wait to go back. Well, actually, I really don't need to because this will last me forever. But um, if I did want another co colored eyeliner, I can't wait to go back to pick these up. I love Inglot. I just wish there was one in Hawaii or an easier way to get it. So that's the black eyeliner that is ridiculously black. And I love that. So, yeah. The last thing I have here that is one of my favorites for this month is the Kat Von D Backstage Bambi Everlasting Love Liquid Lipstick. Holy moly, did I just cross my eyes? Because look at that. Look how small that is, if you guys can read that. But it is the um, liquid lipstick from Kat Von D. And this one is in Bambi, whatever I just said. Um, what did I just say? Backstage Bambi, I think that's the color. But that's it right there. It is a beautiful, hot fuchsia pink. And if this thing stays on forever, it's so pretty, it dries um, nicely, and it doesn't really dry out your lips as much as um, many long-lasting lip, liquid lipsticks do. It, um, I mean, it does, does feel kind of dry, but it doesn't like fully, like, you feel like you have to wear a lip balm. So, I really do love these. These are really great. Um, and not too expensive. So, uh, that's the Backstage Bambi. I love this color. It's so pretty. The last thing I have for my favorites is another rediscovered product. And it is the Maybelline Dream Matte Powder. I've been using this over, um, I've been using this over, what's it called? Over my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. And I've been loving this. I really want to try the, um, the Maybelline Age, I think it's the Age Rewind, the powder. I think the the powder. I think that's what Tiffany D said um, because she said it really reminds her of the MAC MSF. But for now I've been using this and I love it. It's it's a powder. It's great. And I don't think I have to spend 30 bucks on a MAC MSF. What the heck MAC? When did your prices get so freaking expensive? So I'm going back to drugstore powder. So I've been loving this. Um, and I think that's it guys. 
um, for my favorites for me. Hopefully I'm on time this time and upload it before like the ending of June. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well and I will talk to you guys soon.